diesel engines power some of the largest vehicles on the road. However, during cold weather, wax crystals can form in the diesel fuel, which can seriously compromise vehicle operability and reliability. In warm temperatures, wax molecules remain dissolved, so diesel fuel flows freely. As temperatures drop, fuel reaches its cloud point, the temperature at which wax molecules start to crystallize. As the temperature continues to fall, wax crystals become more numerous and grow in size. This causes fuel to gel in fuel lines, tanks and especially on filters. A partially blocked fuel filter reduces fuel flow to the engine, which may result in vehicle operability problems. The risk may be even greater with biodiesel and its blends, which tend to gel at a higher temperature than fossil fuel. The solution? Cold flow additives. Treating diesel fuel with infinium cold flow additives during blending at the refinery or at the distribution terminal can prevent fuel line and filter blockage in two ways. One way is through nucleation, in which the additive creates more sites where crystals can grow. The wax is then distributed across more crystals, so they're smaller in size and less prone to blocking lines and filters. Another way infinium additives prevent blockage is by reshaping the crystals and preventing further crystal growth. The crystals that form are more compact and needle-shaped, which minimizes crystal-to-crystal -crystal surface contact and prevents the strong crystal-to-crystal -crystal interaction that causes fuel to gel. So, what kind of additive works in which fuel? The answer always depends on the fuel's composition. Just as no two fuels are exactly alike, neither are their reactions to additives. For example, broad boiling distillates are generally easier to treat with conventional additives, as they generally have a slow wax precipitation rate. Narrow boiling distillates often require specialized additives designed to deal with narrow wax distributions. For waxy, extremely high final boiling point fuels, as temperature reaches the cloud point and further reduces, a large amount of wax separates from the solution at almost the same time, forming many crystals that grow very quickly. In these circumstances, it's very difficult to control the crystal growth, and specialized additive technology is required. So how does this relate to biodiesels? Since biodiesel comes from diverse feedstocks and production methods, biodiesel blends have more variable cold flow performance characteristics and can be more difficult to treat. The bottom line, cold flow additives can significantly improve cold weather performance across a broad spectrum of diesel fuel, including distillates, biodiesel and its blends. The key is truly understanding the fuel's unique characteristics and tailoring a cold flow solution to fit. But the question remains, why not just stick with kerosene? Because of its low cloud point, kerosene has historically been used for winter diesel fuel blending. And while it's often effective in improving cold weather performance, it comes with disadvantages. Kerosene's lower density reduces fuel economy and can contribute to a loss of power, especially since large amounts are required to improve the low temperature performance of some fuels. This is particularly true in biodiesel. Kerosene's lower viscosity also means lower lubricity, which accelerates wear on engine fuel injection system parts. Kerosene's availability can also fluctuate, and its cost is typically well above that of diesel fuel in colder months. By comparison, treat rates of infinium cold flow additives as low as 500 parts per million can provide all the low temperature benefits of kerosene at 30%, with none of kerosene's drawbacks. And in addition, cold flow additives are often a more cost-effective solution at a fraction of the cost of kerosene. All of this without a negative impact on performance, even in biodiesel and its blends, as long as careful monitoring is in place. Most importantly, 
Infinium cold flow additives have been proven in the field to lower the operability temperature at which fuel can be used in vehicles. More than 80 years of experience in formulating advanced fuel additives has shown us that no other indicator offers more proof of an additive's effectiveness than real-world testing. Different laboratory bench tests are used to predict a fuel's operability performance under low temperature conditions. The cloud point test measures the temperature at which wax crystals first appear. But the amount of wax may not be sufficient to block a filter. It's a conservative estimate and you may be giving away low temperature performance when you're targeting cloud point. That's why Infinium developed the Cold Filter Plugging Point Test, or CFPP, in the 1960s to assess the potential for wax to cause blockage during actual vehicle operation. The CFPP test has been widely adopted as the standard test across Europe, Asia and the Americas. That's because CFPP results have provided excellent protection for low temperature operability of light duty vehicles over many years. However, the CFPP test has a limitation in predicting operability up to 10 to 12 degrees Celsius below the cloud point. But a different test was required to assess cold flow operability in more severe North American heavy duty diesel vehicles. In the late 1970s, Infinium played a key role in introducing the Low Temperature Flow Test, or LTFT, which slowly cools the fuel and better correlates to field conditions for these vehicles. While every fuel and additive combination is different, each test has the same goal – to ensure the additive will provide the protection needed for truly trouble-free fuel handling and vehicle operability. So what does all this mean? It's this simple. In cold temperatures, something must be done to keep fuel flowing in diesel-powered vehicles. And while kerosene may be seen as a viable solution for combating wax crystallization, it's a resource that can get scarce and more expensive. What's more, it has the potential to reduce fuel economy and increase wear on the fuel system. Infinium Cold Flow Additive Technology offers a field-proven option at a fraction of the cost. And it's backed by an industry leader that's committed to ensuring reliability and technical excellence through extensive testing in both laboratory and real-world conditions. Infinium Cold Flow Improvers can offer improved refining economics by freeing up kerosene capacity to produce higher value products such as jet fuel and by allowing heavier products to be upgraded to the diesel pool, maximizing the use of lower cost feedstocks. Infinium cold flow additives, proven to work, maintaining fuel flow and performance in even the toughest winter conditions.